Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Voss Predictor Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, I get people who ask me if I can send them a list of all the winning indicators that we have discovered. If you are interested in receiving a list of all the indicators that we have tested, including the ones that we have discovered, but you are not interested in going back and watching all the videos from the beginning and all the way through to date, then what you can do is you can sign up for our Patreon. If you sign up for the $9 a month Patreon, then I will send you a list of all the indicators that we have tested to date. I also send out a updated list every week of all the indicators that we have tested up to that point. And if you are just interested in supporting the channel, there is a lower tier Patreon at about $3 a month that you can sign up for as well. So look for the Patreon link down below in the description to sign up for either of those. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Voss Predictor Indicator. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 212 indicators. And out of those 212 indicators, 81 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 81 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So we'll go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So today's indicator is the Voss predictor indicator uh, it's also known as um, I believe it is a peek into the future and so uh, this is an indicator that was created by Eller uh, this is an indicator that was requested by one of the viewers on the channel they asked me to show how to trade this particular indicator and so you can see it here on the bottom of the screen there's um kind of a lot going on with it i mean visually it seems like a lot but then when we dig down into it a little bit deeper uh, it's actually not too difficult uh the uh the Voss predictor indicator in itself is actually, uh, you know, pretty simple visually. 
And so this is a modified version that I found on TradingView. And so of course you can find a link to it down below in the description. We'll go over the different parts of it a little bit more here in a moment. Um, first off, if we, uh, if you Google a peek into the future uh, by John Ellers, then you will find a PDF uh, as one of the first results on Google. And this is the PDF here, and you can read through it. It's not uh, not a very long read, just a handful of pages or so. And it goes into a little bit uh, more detail. I mean, I guess it wouldn't even say really more detail. Just kind of gives an idea of what the Voss predictor is. And then it gives you a screenshot of it down here on the bottom of the screen. And so you can see that the traditional one is really just a two line cross type indicator. And we can actually find that version here. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah, right here. And so you see that it is this lower version is almost identical to this version right here. It is a uh, zero line and a two line cross indicator. And so similar to like the MACD, it um, you know kind of pivots around the zero line, but then it has uh, two lines, one a little bit slower, or you could say a little bit faster than another. And they are kind of giving signals on which direction you should be uh, taking trades and so really in itself the uh, Voss predictor uh, the standard one here on the bottom of the screen really is just a two line cross type setup uh, Eller does go into like I said a little bit more in depth on using a couple other indicators with it and so on uh, but as far as you know this particular indicator as a standalone uh, this is basically how uh, you know you would trade it as a, a two line cross when the blue line crosses up above the red that is a signal to go long when the blue line crosses down below the red that is a signal to go short and so um, you know like I said really as far as the Voss predictor goes that's pretty much it now the issue comes into hand and this is where the top version of it starts to kind of come into play a little bit more uh, as, as well as uh, you know one or two other features of it uh, but the main thing is really what you need to be able to do is identify the overall trend direction first and then only take the signals that are uh, valid with the overall trend and so if you wanted to use just the standard uh, Voss the standard predictor then what you would need to do is something like a moving average uh, take a simple moving average or an exponential moving average which I feel like is the uh, is the better moving average to use and you would throw that on screen and you would set it to something like a um, 50 period or a hundred period something along those lines and that would give you an overall direction of the trend, the overall trend. And you would only take the signals that are going with the trend. And so, for example, we can see here that price action is trading above the EMA here, uh, green, the uh, blue line here. And so what we would do is we would only take trades where we were given a long signal by the predictor. And so you can see right 
here, for example, we get a cross of the blue line over the red line, and that is a long signal. That would be a signal to then enter into a long position, and then you would, you know, ride out accordingly. And obviously, the same is true in reverse. If price action was trading below. the moving average so say right here when we get a signal like eh, this one this one's really close but you could call it a valid signal when you get a signal to go short like right here where the blue line crosses down below the uh, red line then that would be a signal to go short. Now, alternatively, you could, you know, in theory, and I'm not sure how well exactly it would work, uh, but you could use the zero line as, um, you know, bullish, bearish territory. And so you could say that the red line and uh, blue line has to be above the zero line to take long trades but I'm not sure in this instance that would work very well some indicators that will work with and in this particular case I'm not sure it really would work all that great I mean I guess right here you kind of get that kind of a setup it just doesn't seem like it would occur very often uh, looks like we get one there. Looks like we get another one right about here. And so you see in both these cases, the red line and the blue line are above the zero line here in the middle. I know it's hard to see that zero line because it's a dotted line. Let's do that. Let's make it a solid line. Let's actually make it purple and then bump up its weight a little bit so the purple line is the zero line so you can see that both the red and the uh, blue line are both above the zero line in this instance we see that the blue line comes down and just swipes slightly under the i don't even know if it actually went under it in that particular case i think it just touched it and kind of bounced off of it and so um but over here we had an instance where both the blue line and the red line they were above the zero line and we get a cross of the blue line over the red giving us a long signal and so i don't think that one would work out very well as far as being able to predict the overall general trend uh, direction of the market as well as you know taking the signals all in one uh, and so again you would kind of have to add in something to uh, identify the overall trend now let's jump up here and take a look at the uh, this version here of the uh, predictor the boss predictor so uh, what the creator of this indicator has done is they have taken the Voss predictor and they have plugged it into the two pole uh, let's see we can read it here the two pole bandpass filter Eller's two pole bandpass filter um, they have uh, plugged it into that or, or ran it through that and um, let's see Three indicators consisting of the two. So the two pole band pass fed into the Voss predictor and then using uh, this creators, this uh, trading view members uh, correlation color uh, indicator as well. And so they've uh, really taken out a lot of the uh, other indicators that would be needed to kind of make this an all in one trading system. And so if you look at the indicator up here at the top, you can see that there is this white line with a 
white shadow, uh, white area kind of running through the chart. And you can see that there is this other line which is turning green and red and also running through the chart. And that is your uh, predictor. That is the VOS predictor, the two lines. And so you can see right here where the blue uh, comes over the red. You can see that the uh, faster line here, in this particular case, it's red at this moment crosses over the white and so the white line is basically the red line and the green and red uh, line that's switching from green to red is the blue line so the white line is the slower of the two lines and the blue line is the faster of the two lines and then what we have running down the middle are these dots that are switching uh, you know kind of from different shades of green to different shades of red and what that is is it is identifying the overall trend direction the the overall trend of the market and so you see if we uh, take an area from what am I looking for here 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 and we go from this point here all the way to this point here uh, during this period the indicator is saying that the overall trend direction of the market is an uptrend and so you can see how it is uh, doing us uh, kind of the legwork of identifying the overall trend in the market that we can then use the Voss predictor to uh, take trades in that particular direction of the market. And that's basically how we will be trading, uh, testing it today, is that when the green dots, so it goes from dark green all the way to a very bright green, and then you can see a very, very dark maroon all the way to a bright red. And so what we are looking for is we are looking for while we are in green dots, we are looking for buy signals. And so we're looking for the uh, blue line to cross up over the red for a long signal. And then when we are in red dots, we are looking for the blue line to cross down below the red line for a short signal and we'll leave the uh, standard one here on screen because sometimes the lines can get a little challenging to see but that's pretty much how we have it set up let's go ahead and start playing it out see what we get out of this indicator all right so we have currently we are in green dot zone we then get a cross right here to the upside. We got blue going up over the red. That is a long signal. So we'll go ahead and play this out, see what happens. And it looks like we got to profit. Let's double check that we didn't get stopped out. Fairly confident we didn't. Yep, we're still in good territory. And so we got first winning trade right there let's keep playing it out now and first and foremost what we are watching is we are watching the uh, dots here and those are the direction that we are following the overall trend direction of the market so we got to keep an eye on those first to know whether or not we are taking short trades or we are taking long trades so let's just keep plugging along here. We are in red territory and we pick up a short signal right here on this one. So let's go ahead and play that out a little bit more and see what happens. Looks like, unfortunately, we got stopped out on that. Let's double check. Yep. There we go. All right, so 
back onto it here we are now in green territory and right about here we get a signal to go long really at the worst possible time now keep in mind that this is called um the, uh, what was it a, a peak into yes a peak into the future don't know why i can't remember that um and so you would think that you know this is giving you some kind of advantage into um you know knowing what's going to happen before it actually happens in the market but you know eller and the rest of the people who uh you know play around with this indicator um they kind of um <clears throat> let me mark this one out. i forgot this one that was a losing trade there uh they really go into a little bit more depth to explain that it it really is not it, it really doesn't work that way I mean, you're not going to really identify exactly what is going to happen in the market before it happens basically uh, the name implied that you know all things being equal if price action continued to uh, continue to have the same pattern that it did in the near past that the predictor would be able to uh, identify what was going to happen in advance and so i played around a little bit with the blue line because i believe that technically the blue line itself is the predictor line it's slightly leading price action is is the best way i can explain it and the best way that it seemed like it was explained was again the the blue line is gauging what the indicator thinks is going to happen uh, very soon in the future of price action and so you can see that you know here as you know it starts to bottom out right here sometimes it does it better than other times and so right here you can see this swipe down to the bottom and it starts curling back up and working its way back up you can see here that it takes a minute but price action eventually starts to go up and so there is some validity to this indicator being able to you know tell the future i guess you could say uh, but it doesn't really doesn't really just identify or tell you exactly what price action is going to do um, in the future accurately enough anyways to be able to use it for only that So we get a short signal there, but the overall trend is still in the green. Then we pick up a long signal here, but now we have hit the short. And so it might be worth trying this indicator as Kind of as a as a standalone without looking at the overall trend but i played around with it enough that it really did not seem like it was going to uh, give us any kind of advantage problem is is that it leads price action just enough it leads price action just enough that sometimes it gets really hard to spot exactly when we are going to see a reversal and then sometimes it doesn't reverse at all it it you know says that we should see a reversal coming in the very near future and then it just continues to grind down and so keep on plugging along here we're getting close to the end of the year what's our stop for our take profit is 60 pips 
but all in all this version doesn't seem to be doing too bad of a job so just keep plugging along here picked up a short signal right there like I said we seem to be getting quite a quite a few decent signals so not quite to the end of the year but close enough we can start to get a pretty good idea let's see did we get stopped out on this one oh it was close That actually would have been a winning trade there as well. Keep an eye on what's happening here. So we are in the red zone. We get a drop. To the downside here. barely miss take profit still on the red spike above for a moment and then we get another drop it's unfortunate let's see thought that was a entry there but not quite came down and touched it but didn't didn't quite break below and we pick up a lot of movement in it right there it right here long signal and another decent trade Let's see if we can get one more before the end of the year we did nope actually we did not that would have been a losing trade as well so that is unfortunate all right so there we have it so that is the Voss predictor indicator a peek into the future as it is called so let's go ahead and add these up and see what we get out of it so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we get 12 signals all together, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So it meets the 60% criteria, uh, just edged out right over the 60%. Uh, almost didn't make it, but it did. Not a bad indicator all, all around. Uh, it seemed like it did really decent. It was, uh, you know, predicting the overall general uh, momentum of the market or the overall trend of the market and getting in at some, you know, really decent spots. So, yeah, not too bad at all. We'll put it on the yes list and we'll move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested 
and our testing. Also, there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.